Well, today I did a set of brick steps, and they were concrete, and they were all chipped up, and there was different wing walls. The wing walls will be a different video. I'm going to show you how I redid these uh, brick and stone steps. So today's job, they chipped down these concrete steps, as you could see them, and there was two pillars over here, one there and one there. Let's look at that right now. So we looked at the pillars and they came over here, ripped it out, they got new brick here, and they got the new threads here. And that's the top. And of course they smashed the old brick up. So first thing we gotta do is get a piece of cardboard and make a pattern so everything fits. Measuring from the top of the step. And I got 35, 35 and a quarter inches. See that? So now I'm gonna measure this part going out. Now I'm measuring to see, this is where my step has to end up right here. This is my brick. But I know when I measure my stone from way over here, I have 48, I have 49 inches. So what do I do? I make a pattern. This is my pattern. You see, I lay it all out dry, and I know exactly where my brick's going to go, like that. I got seven inches, and I lay everything out dry. I make a pattern. Forget about rulers. Rulers are to get the little things. You make a pattern. You can't make a mistake with a pattern. Also, with these steps. Everything's got to line up this way, too. All right? The edge of every stone has to be in a straight line so you don't have a tripping hazard. Now, once I got my pattern, then I just start cutting it out like that. Then I know where everything's going to go. So then we take our pattern and we put it to our marks because we've got to make sure got to make sure when I put the brick in, everything's going to fit. You see? I know the brick's going to fit everywhere I go. Brick is going to fit. This doesn't fit. See? Too high. This just makes it. That just makes it. This is too high. So they got to come back, take the top off, take some more off of here, and give us some more room to work. And then we'll go from there. This is the sidewalk. You can see this little crack that goes across. So I gotta lay brick down here to put my stone on. So I'm gonna put this little piece of black paper right up there to be like uh, so it's not holding on here. And then if the sidewalk goes back and forth, it's gonna slide on the paper. It won't leave that crack. I am laying everything out dry to make sure that everything is in its proper place. And then I know when I lay my stones, everything is going to work out correctly. I'm not going to make any mistakes. All right, I'm cutting the brick. Ready to go. And I got some issues over here. So I got to kind of build this out to lay the brick on. So I'm going to show you what I do there. So i got to build a little ledge here. Wash that off. Keep it wet. Over here. Wash that off. So I'm going to mix up some rapid set mortar mix. This dries real fast. That's what I want it to do. So I mixed it up. Now I built up my ends so I could start laying my brick. I didn't have anything to lay brick over. I had one part over here. So now I'm going to lay some brick up in there. I'm all ready to go. Now I'm going to start laying brick. I'm going to 
wash this off here. I'll make the cement stick a little better. And what's going on is I got to reach a certain height with my brick. So my brick is going to start. Right there. One, two. So I gotta build this up here to make it work. Now for this whole job, I'm just using one bucket of mason sand, like this. A half a bucket of S mortar. Where is it? Type S. All that means is it's mortar with Portland in it. And I use two to one part sand and one part S border and I mix it up and that's what I'm using for the whole job. I mix it up dry first and the water. That's it. It's all mixed up. Take this stiff cement fill this in like this. my height because of that. I could have laid the brick this way but I didn't want it. They want the brick laid this way. So now I take this board away. Okay got my ledges in. See them? To raise my brick up and uh, I want to have to start at the bottom because I wanted to start from the top. I don't think it's set up good enough. I'll start from the bottom. And we'll start laying the brick down here. I got a pattern. I can't go wrong. Okay, I'm getting my first course in. Happy about that. Using my joiner, you could use a piece of. Uh, see these things move once in a while. You gotta fake it in there. Good. You could use a piece of copper tubing if you want. Anything that works. The old timers made their own tools. So I'm continuing on. Cement underneath right enough. Where I could keep going. And I'm just continuing on. Let's see how we're doing here. Not bad. Very good. Doing good. Almost done with the second course. So that's it. I'm continuing on I'm doing my last course. Okay, I'm back the following day. That's our top stone. Uh, every stone's a little bit different to make it come down correctly. But I washed it off this morning and now I'm over here, I gotta saw this stone to back off of this stone. I got my mark.
Okay, got them all in. I cut them all. They're all in dry. Then we're going to come back. We checked them with the the pattern, and then we're going to relay them with the cement. I'm setting, putting the cement down to bed. And this is a piece of limestone that I cut off the other limestone. So I know that's my height. So I know I have to go seven inches down. That's a little high. See? It's a little high. I know I have to go, there I am, seven inches. And I want about a quarter of a bubble. See, that's level. I want about a quarter of a bubble like that. And that way the water's going to hit it and roll off. See, that's level. And I got that little bit right there, if you can see it. That's a stone pitch down. So I know on this side, that's my height. So way down here on the other end, same thing. Seven inches down, I got my quarter of bubble. That's my height. Now, I just go between that, just like pouring concrete. See? That's where my stone's going to go. Now, on the porch, I don't know if you could see it, but I got a crown. In other words, the porch ain't level. So sometimes you just got to go with what you got to go with. And that's it. So when you're working by yourself, you got to get a little bit inventive. Like this. See, that's it. Now, let's measure seven inches. Good. Now I get my pattern to make sure. And I seat it down a little bit. This way, I'll live with that. Let's check it here. Seven inches, perfect. steps all in. I got them all in this way well. But I also have it going down this way. Every point has to hit. Let's look at it from the porch. So when we're looking at our steps, we got to look at them this way. They all got to match up going this way. It's real important. What I'm doing, is I'm trying to fill in the back of the brick without getting them dirty. This kind of brick is like it, it just gets dirty. I'm going to come and wash it tomorrow with the hose and a, what do you call it? Just a brush, a scrub brush. But right now I'm just trying to keep the brick from getting dirty. See? I'm trying to do. Well, that's it. Just cleaning it all up. Put the sponge in the water. So I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. It was for a contractor. He got all the materials ready and got it all ready and I just put it in. But if you're going to do a set of brick steps, make yourself a pattern. Even if you're used to using a ruler all the time, Make yourself a little pattern and once in a while check it, you can't go wrong. The owners did not want a soldier course. They wanted the bricks this way, so I had to kind of build it up to make everything work. Anytime you're going to do a set of brick steps, lay it out dry because you can't go wrong. You look at it, you know where everything goes, and you're good. 
When I built the sides out, I used that fast drying cement. You put it in, 25 minutes later, you could start laying brick over it. Bricks with holes in them. You know something? Uh, the only reason bricks have the holes in them is because it's easier to ship and it uses less material. It doesn't do anything as far as construction wise to make it better. People ask me, Mike, do you ever go back to your old jobs? Just there just so happened there was a stone job I did down the street. And uh, let's just go take a look at that. Well, here's a job I did 25, 30 years ago. So that's holding up good. And I did these pillars some years back. So once in a while I do look at the old stone jobs and I had a little extra cement so they had you know a joint missing and I packed it up but after 25 30 years I think that job held up good now I did the wing walls after this video that's going to be a separate video that's what the thumbnail for this video looks like so that's about it uh, thanks for watching I'm Mike Haddock I'll see you next video